Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Karen Dina, and today I'm going to talk about the protein content of a variety of different types of sprouts. To get started, all plants have protein, and plants produce seeds that have protein. And when these seeds sprout, those sprouts have protein as well. So all sprouts contain protein. Let's take a look at a variety of sprouts and their macronutrient content. Up here, I have a list of a few different types of sprouts. These are the ones that I could find in the databases that I looked at. There's a lot of other different types of sprouts out there that we don't have data on yet, and I look forward to a time when that data becomes available. So here's our list of the different types of sprouts in this column. Then we have the carbohydrate, protein, and fat content as a percentage of calories. Our first sprout here is sprouted lentils. We've got 29% of the calories from protein, 3% fat, and 68% carbohydrate. So like regular lentils, sprouted lentils can be considered a lean source of protein because they're low in fat and higher in protein. Sprouted mung beans are similar. They have 33% of their calories from protein and 4% fat, 63% carbohydrate. So once again, sprouted mung beans like sprouted lentils can be considered a lean source of protein. Uh, green peas are similar. They have slightly less protein than the other two. They've got 24% of their calories from protein, 4% uh, of the calories from fat, 72% of the calories from carbohydrate. Alfalfa sprouts are 52% of the calories from protein, 20% of the calories from fat, and 28% of the calories from carbohydrate. Now buckwheat sprouts down here are 15% of the calories from protein, 6% fat, 79% carbohydrate, and wheat sprouts are very similar here at 14% of the calories from protein, 5% fat, and 81% of the calories from carbohydrate. So in general, the members of the legume family, which would include the lentils, mung beans, green peas, and alfalfa sprouts, those are higher in protein than the pseudo grain here buckwheat and true grain here wheat. It's important to note here that just because I have these particular sprouts listed up here does not necessarily mean that I consume them or that I am promoting them. I have all these here for comparison purposes because people ask me about the protein content of a variety of different types of sprouts. And some of the most popular ones are found in the legume family, the grain family, and our pseudo grains. This next slide shows the carbohydrate, protein, and fat content of the original legume or seed that the sprouts originated from. And it's interesting to note here the protein difference between the actual legume and seed versus the sprout. In some cases, there really isn't very much difference at all. Oftentimes people say that the protein content increases or gets better when a seed is sprouted, but that's not always the case. It's important to note that sometimes it doesn't really change at all. It depends on the seed or legume. Thanks for watching. And for those of you interested in learning more about our educational opportunities, such as our online and in-person Science of Raw Food Nutrition classes, please visit our website at rawfoodeducation.com. And if you're interested in lab testing and nutrition consulting, please visit our website at rawfoodconsulting.com. And if you found this information to be useful, please like, share, and subscribe.